Hey everyone, welcome back. So I wanted to uh, show you guys what I've been doing with the tunnel here. And so I discussed this in the last video with the sniffer situation that we had going on. We obviously have the sniffers all grown up now. Haven't uh, named them yet uh, because currently that video was just uploaded. So uh, nobody has left any comments yet. So we'll get names for those guys in a bit. But I wanted to show you guys the idea for the tunnel. So uh, pretty much finished this part but we i have a uh, a little redstone project for us today um which i probably am not going to complete in one day it's probably going to take me a little bit to do uh, but basically i have these copper bulbs here and what i'm thinking is that um i can use these buttons in which i've used for the screws um and i think i'm going to do it as a light switch um and so i'm going to have a button on the wall here somewhere um and so what's going to happen is uh, we'll have these copper bulbs. I don't, I hope I'm just going to silk touch it just in case. Um, I'm going to have these copper bulbs placed maybe every two here. I feel like that could be cool if we did that. So maybe we have them like up here. Is that too much? That's what I don't know. Uh, I think that's okay, actually, uh, because it's going to be quite dark in here, right? Once we get, once we remove those torches, uh, as you can see there. So I was thinking what we could do is actually um have them every two there i think that would work quite well and then basically what's going to happen is when you uh activate the redstone switch right it's going to press it the one time which um the cool thing about copper bulbs is uh, when you interact with them right when redstone is connected to a copper bulb on the first block update from a switch it'll uh stay on the bulb so uh you see right there we press the button the button de-releases or Whatever you would de-releases, I don't think that's a word. <laughs> the button uh, releases itself, and you can see that the uh, the light signal stays on, which is pretty cool, even if you break the button. So if I mine this button, uh, well, I wasn't supposed to break the block, but uh, <laughs> once you mine the button, uh, it will stay up. So if I mine the button, you see the light stays on. So what we can do is um, set up a, uh, a redstone switch with a lever i think is the best way to do that because i want to have this cool effect right this is my idea we're gonna have this lever on the wall here and once i flip this lever right say that torch is when i flip the lever that's going to turn the redstone signal on which is going to send repeaters into these copper bulbs up here but i'm going to delay the repeaters every time down the hallway so that when i turn on the light switch it has this really cool effect of like when you're in a big hallway and the lights turn on and they turn on one at a time down the hallway and so i'm thinking i'm going to do that um for each uh hallway here so i can turn on and off the lights when i want to around here uh, we'll have to figure out a way to get um mobs from not spawning down here although i do have the beacon which i think is going to protect me uh a little bit from that so i think it'll be a really cool idea i think it's going to look pretty sweet once i finish that so i guess uh we can go ahead and get started that's enough <laughs> rambling from me for now and uh we can figure out how we're going to do this so i think the first thing i need is a lever to get this done so i'm going to get that cobble and make a lever here now i don't know how to make a repeater i'm going to have to look up that recipe but i'm thinking we could just put the light switch on this wall right here i don't know uh let's see probably right there would be easiest way i have to think about this because we have to go behind this wall right all right clear ourselves a little bit of a path where we can put this redstone light this up for you guys so you can see and so basically the lever is right here on this block i believe right <sighs> yes it is so it's on this block so we're gonna need the redstone signal to go out here and then it, it, it has to travel vertically up into this block right where that trap door is which i believe is uh right there so that should be right over the bulb yeah so okay so that is gonna go there uh we'll need like a repeater right there or something like that and we'll need another repeater down here. Uh, we'll put a repeater right there. So I'll break those so that the repeater can break. And then what we can do is actually, now that we're already up here, we can just run the redstone along this cobblestone block up here. And then we'll be able to slot in all the redstone up here. Okay, so we'll get those guys in there. And we can do this on both sides. Uh, these, these copper bulbs are not cheap to make. They are an expensive block. So this is going to be a little bit of a project to do. But I did want to say actually regarding that that the blocks themselves uh it's actually quite nice when you're playing minecraft and you have to work for a block 
um, because it, it makes it more fun to play. So if you ever find yourself getting bored of Minecraft and um, you, you just get tired of playing the game, try to create these projects where you have to do fun stuff like this um, because this is really fun for me because um, the copper bulbs are not an easy block to get. So it's really rewarding when you're able to get the copper, get the blaze rods, get the redstone, and then set up the whole signal and whatnot. And uh, if we were to connect this, it unfortunately wouldn't work. So I'm going to make some redstone repeaters and I will be back. Okay, so I've got the materials that I need here as we are creating our little shulker mess. Uh, just going to grab a couple of these dudes and let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been quite a while. I think it goes something like this, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay. All right, so we'll make quite a few of those. Those sniffers, they love to make their little noises. <laughs> they uh, are quite loud. I have given you guys food, so I don't know why you're complaining. Wow, they are huge, man. <laughs> they got really, really big. Now, the one thing I don't know, right, is that we put them down here. But I don't know if down here since this isn't outside i don't know if they can actually like recover seeds from in here because this is all grass that i've placed so <laughs> i haven't quite figured that out yet i guess we'll see um but i haven't seen them digging anything so unfortunately we might have to move them from this location and maybe we could put somebody else down here or something oh there never mind on cue what did you find for me dude sweet torch flower all right Awesome. Thank you. We'll go ahead and throw that in the foliage shulker over here so that we can place that down. Okay, so this is the fun part now. So I think I want this one to be instantaneous, right? Because we don't need that to uh, be triggered slowly or anything like that. So this one can be triggered whenever. So we'll see um, how long that takes. Uh, but then this one that runs over here, right? This is the one that needs to be slowed down. So maybe we'll do it. Uh, it looks like there's a five block gap in between here. So maybe we'll do the repeater every once. Uh, sorry, my brain is computing. That's why I can't talk right now. Um, <laughs> every time in the middle, right where this dirt block is, you see right here. I think that's when we should do the repeater. So it looks like there's five, right? That connects. And then... Uh, yep, so the one, two, three, the connect, four, five... And then the repeater, and then unfortunately we're not going to be able to reach this one over here, which is fine. Um, and it should, I'm going to have to hit the one signal, and then I think if I flip it and turn it off again, I think it'll work. So, uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> that is most certainly going to be an issue. Uh, how did I overlook that? I'm laughing to myself right now, guys. How did I not... <laughs> Okay, yep. Well, that's going to be a problem. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's okay? I, I'm i not the biggest fan of it being a square like that. I much preferred when they were rounded. But I don't know. We'll see here. And then if I hit it again, they should turn off. Yeah. Okay, so that is going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a solution. Oh, man. That stinks. I really wanted to put those trap doors there. Okay, so my brain is going to work here, and I think what we can do is if we are able to put a repeater on top of where that trapdoor is, I think that may prevent it from triggering, but I'm not sure, because I don't know if redstone, when it is um, traveling, traveling vertically over a trapdoor, I don't know if it triggers it uh, when, that, when it's a repeater, is what I mean, so... Um, it's on right now, so that's where the trap door is. It's underneath this block. So if I do this, I didn't hear a trap door trigger. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so that's how we can get away from that problem. The only issue now, though, is we need to, uh, rethink this a little bit, because this is where the lever is. Actually, we might be okay there, because it should be able to travel that way, so... Um, now what we can do is we can keep those trap doors there by doing that. And what we'll have to do is take this switch and put it down here. And now it's going to trigger that one. Oh. <coughs> La oh, I laughed a little too hard. <coughs> Whew. Okay. 
Uh, well, I can live with not having that one there. Um, it's not that noticeable, right? I can live with that. So we'll just have to, like, do that, I guess. But that won't bother me that much. Um, so what we can do is now have this switch there, and it won't open the trap door. But now it's not extending over there. Why is that? What has happened? Did I break something? I think I may have switched something off. Oh, uh, you see? Okay, well, actually, this is fine. This is fine, because what we can do is a split thing here. So now we can just have one line go into this and then have another line go into that, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we have that, that small split there. I'm thinking if there is a way that I can uh, simplify this or something to make it a little less goofy. <laughs> That's the only word I can think. I'm going to go ahead and actually clear this out right here. So I guess we can do the repeater there. And now this is going to have to go in like this. Yep. There we go. Okay, so that is how it should be done. So that can be one click. And then this can be two clicks. And this will go in like this over here, which will trigger that. Yep. And then we just got to reset the circuit there. Where did that redstone piece go? Did that just like phase through? Oh, it's in there. I want that back. Thank you. Um, okay, so that triggers that, right? That's on the two. And then we can go here. And I'm out of repeaters. Awesome. Okay. All right, we have three more. So that's going to be two. <coughs> oh, jeez. All right. And we can place this redstone. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. And then we just got to reset the thing again and just make sure everything is even bam so that can go on there i mean we can turn that one on right but this one is okay so i see what's happened now i didn't know this so when they're fully oxidized like that because that one oxidized really quick it's actually gotten darker so it's not, not, well, it's off right now, but when you turn it back on, you can see it's not actually emitting as much light as it used to. So I'll have to get some honey. All right, so now that the system is off, I have a couple more repeaters and we can head back here and we can place that right there, right? Which is going to turn everything off. We just need to, well, I guess that one was in its right position, right? We need to reset it now. Okay, there we go. And so this one was set to, that one's set to two clicks. So this one can be set to three clicks. And then I wonder if we do the same, if it's going to trigger at the same time. I have no idea how that's going to work. All right, I can put uh, just some lighting behind here, right? So that we can see if we ever need to work on this. Um, and then I think if we just go down there and turn it off, everything should work. Uh, I want to fill that in, though. Luckily, I've got, like, just enough to fill this in. Uh, so let's get rid of our torches here. Let's take these back, and we'll see uh, what the lighting does. I think it's going to be quite interesting. Obviously, we, we don't have that side hooked up yet. Um, but I think our concept should work. Um, that's actually a pretty cool effect with the light bleeding through the stairs there. I like that. So uh, let's put some of this stuff away first before we do this, because I don't need all this junk and uh i don't know i'm a weird minecrafter i like to have my uh my hand in the visual when i'm just walking around <laughs> so uh anyways yeah i guess let's test the system let's see what it does here yeah there we go perfect that's exactly what i was going for so i think this is going to be really cool so now we just need to hook up um the other side uh which i think what i'm going to do is just use this same signal and we'll just find a way uh, like right here or something. I'll make these. Um... Oh, that's going to be a problem. Well, hang on. I wonder if. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do. Is. Break this. Okay. And there's the other bulb. Right. And so we'll do this. What is. What did I break into here? What is this? Okay, there's some sort of cave that I've been through over there. 
which is fine. It's not that much of an issue. It's a little bit out of the way. Um, and we'll tear all of this out right here so I can walk. And I think I'm going to put, uh, the, I'm going to, okay. My brain is going crazy right now. This is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to have this signal. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a full block and I'm going to have the signal run over this block and trigger this one and then have it go this way. And then I might have to put a repeater right there to get the signal to keep going without losing strength and have that signal trigger the rest of these guys over here. Um, I think that'll be much easier than having it like, I don't know, snake around and come up over this way. And I guess I don't really need any of these dirt blocks anymore. Those were just temp blocks. So we can get rid of those too. I haven't been down here in forever. What, what used to be down? I think this used to be my, um, Oh, let's see if I can remember. I think this was where my beacon was like ages ago, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. There should be a hole in the... Yeah, it was right here. Yeah, that, that's where I put it. All right, so we can clear all of that out and just put some cobblestone in there. Those are temporary blocks. Uh, and that's not going to interfere with that because I don't think that room is going to be designed into anything as of now. Might do something later, but uh, that's just where the beacon is placed. And so now we can do the same thing on the one, two, and we had the repeater every time there was this tough block here. So now we can do this, which will trigger those. Beautiful. Right. And that will go there. This one was one. This one was set to the second one. And this one was set to the third. So the only thing I'm a little concerned about is when the redstone travels over this that it triggers at the same time. I, I think it's going to be a little delayed, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but what I'm actually concerned about right now is I want to see uh, how... Uh, I can tell you guys, I am such a stickler when it comes to having my hand in my field of view. I have no idea why, but I like... I have to run around with my hand in my field of view when I'm playing this game. <laughs> so... Always got to have one inventory slot open. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. That actually, that lights up nice and fine. So um, I don't know if I want to keep them this blue or this color. I feel like this color looks actually quite nice. It wasn't my intention when we started, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of whether we should keep them oxidized like this or have them in their fresh uh, stage. Um I don't know. I haven't, haven't quite decided. I think maybe one stage. I think maybe like that is probably our best option. Um, so we'll have to make some sort of a bee farm or something so I can get honey to seal those off. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like now. So uh, I guess we can test the light switch and see what it does. So uh, obviously you have to hit it twice. You see there's no uh, redstone signal on the thing here. Um, so you'll see when the redstone signal is active. Um, so this lever should be turned off now. Yep. So you can see right here, the signal is turned off. And so when the signal turns on, the red dot inside of the bulb actually turns on. And so now that the lights turn off, right, you'll see that the signal has um, been turned on for the redstone. So if we go behind here, you can see the redstone signal is turned on. So that wiring is active. And so then when we reset the light switch, when we turn the lights on, they uh, turn off the redstone signal right there. And then once we flip the switch again, this should actually turn on. It's going to look really cool. So here we go. This is our little experiment. So you can see the lights are delayed exactly what I wanted. I think that looks so cool. And so what we'll do is we'll have that wiring also somehow. Uh, I'm probably going to do it over connecting from there. We'll have that uh, loop over there and connect to this thing right here. And I think that'll look really cool. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. That was just this little uh, light switch demonstration that I wanted to do of this project that I was gonna do on this world. Obviously it's gonna take me a very long time to finish that for the rest of the tunnels. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, obviously I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone that has joined the channel and all of the newcomers that have commented and subscribed and stuff like that. I know it's not always the easiest thing in the world to, um, you know, support those smaller channels, especially when they're new. Um, so I really appreciate anybody that has done that. Um, it truly does mean a lot. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.